We now move to the business news of the day. Kenya has received a 500 million shillings grant from the European Union to increase production of beans, maize and Irish potatoes in the next two planting seasons. EU ambassador to Kenya, Simon Modo, says the funds under the Cereals Enhancement Program will see farmers access farm inputs at a subsidized price and targets to increase production of the three crops by at least 30,000 tons by mid next year. The onset of the COVID-19 pandemic early this year adversely strained the agriculture sector in Kenya as it coincided with the start of the planting season during which access to farm inputs, extension services and labor experienced massive disruptions. To ensure the country's staple food supply chain remains stable during and after the pandemic, the European Union has disbursed 500 million shillings that will go into increasing maize, beans and potato production in the country has been looking to make sure we can ensure that Kenyan farmers would have access to the quality inputs needed to ensure continued production of food in a safe and dependable manner. The funds will target 19,000 farmers in Bungoma, Kakamega, Nakuru, Nandi and Transoia. It seeks to increase maize production by 26,618 tons, beans by 2,639 tons, and Irish potatoes by 3,120 tons by mid-2021 in a bid to stabilize food prices in the country. Our aim is to support some 19,000 uh, Kenyan farmers primarily in the western region of Kenya. Under a public-private partnership with local commercial banks, farmers will receive up to 20,000 shillings worth of farm inputs under the e-voucher system. E-voucher is where we have partnered with banks like Equity and the development partners and ourselves, and we have registered the farmers who are in these programs, and we are able to support them directly for access to inputs. So inputs means quality seed, uh, quality agrochemicals. Farmers will access uh, the inputs that they require as, uh, as well as uh, the post-harvest uh, materials that they would use to sow their, their produce. Part of the grant will also go towards improving selected collection centers, warehouses, marketplaces and agro-dealers outlets to make them COVID-19 compliant.